Hello everyone and welcome back to the next Let's Play for OnLink. We are finally here at the last arc in the last episode of the game. Well, at least as far as the ARC storyline is concerned, we will be dealing with the Run More storyline in the next video. But for now, we can pretty much say that we've crippled the Arunmore antivirus pretty successfully in that we've been able to knock it down by two different versions. As I said in the previous video, I can't say though that I quite buy that. I mean, it's the year 2020. How likely is it that they're only going to have one backup and the backup's going to be two versions old? I just do not buy that. Nonetheless, I guess that could be because they're now funded by the government, but I don't think even the government would be that incompetent, especially when their lifeline is pretty much on the line. Well, I guess in this case they are. Either way, this makes our life a lot easier than it would have otherwise. Basically, the whole thing that we've been doing is fighting over version numbers. Now, that may have not seemed that big of a deal at the time, but over onto this mission, it actually makes a difference. The version numbers will depend on how fast the virus or antivirus works. So, let's say that I had a higher revelation virus. We could have gotten that by skipping some of the Run More storyline missions. But I didn't do that, so they're both equal in this case. So, pretty much, it's going to be an equal fight. However, I've gone ahead and gotten a list of the internal service machines that I wanted to hack ahead of time. Mainly because I did not want to spend the time and go ahead and try to hack into the mainframes. Going into the mainframes with the Revelation virus would take way too long. I mean, I have to go ahead and get the voice analyzing data as well as any other data I possibly need. Especially what happens if I hit a lifter or an ACS system. That would be a nightmare. I can tell you that right now. I don't want to have to do that again. So that is why I've gotten the list. I also went ahead and pre-hacked all the internal service machines ahead of time before the mission started. However, as you can see, it doesn't seem to have made much difference whatsoever. Because at the beginning of the storyline, it appears that it erased all of the work that I did prior to it. In other words, all my passwords were reset and all the security that I disabled was turned back on. As well as the memory that I deleted, some of it was actually filled up. Some of it was kept, but not all of it was emptied out like I had planned. Which is rather annoying because it would have made my life a whole lot easier if I could have just simply logged in, deposited Revelation, and ran the virus. But thankfully, despite that, it was too cheap. I wouldn't have really been satisfied with going with such an ending. So basically what's happening is as we're going along, the Faith Antivirus is going and pretty much disinfecting as computers as we go. But unfortunately, because of time constraints, I've had to edit the video down considerably. That's why there's such big gaps in the way that the Revelation Tracker is working. It's not spreading nearly as fast in reality, but I had to do it because I don't think you guys would be interested in watching a 20-minute video of me going back and forth with Revelation. I wouldn't do that to you guys. It's, that's just too cruel. And I apologize for the fact that in many cases, I'm pretty much repeating the same thing over because... Honestly, this game is quite repetitive in the things that you do, and there's only so many things I can really comment on. And for that, I I'm sorry for that, guys. I would love to give you a much better commentary than what I've been giving you. But I've had to sho shove these things down to low length to make sure that they're relatively interesting. And I hope that I have somewhat succeeded in that. So... Thank you very much for everyone that has watched these videos. I've really enjoyed making this series. It has been an informative time for me because I've learned uh, different ways of editing the videos to get them to work right. And pretty much, we're wrapping it up here. 
the video as you can see we're now at the end of the game the internet is pretty much destroyed there is nothing left I still say though in some way there has to be something left because of the fact that the faith antivirus is disinfecting some systems. Logically the systems that were disinfected should still be online so I still can't completely buy this ending but that is pretty much the end of the ARC storyline missions and it is probably one of the more interesting ones because pretty much I'm ending up here penniless without any money and without any work. So I pretty much put myself out of business because of the fact that I took down the internet. Logically, who would want to do this? It's just, it does not make sense. Anyway, what we see here is a list of the awards that I've gotten. I did not get them all, unfortunately. I would have liked to, but I don't think you can because some of them are a run more specific. Either way, that's pretty much the end of this episode. So, see you guys next time.